In my opinion, this is quite an unusual move procedure for a museum that we were very short of time when we were told when we needed to be out of the old space um, and pack it. There's about 68,000 specimens in the collection. It took about three months to pack up the museum in the Darwin building. And we had specialist museum packers to work with us, so it's not just a case of getting them, you know, man in the van in and <laughs> sticking it in. <laughs> The space we've got now is much bigger. It's, it's also got a big central space which we can use for teaching, public events, meetings, really anything which we didn't have in the old space. It's also significantly larger in terms of display cases. Being a, a former library, the whole room's lined with bookcases. Because we've got so much more space, it really actually was a fairly unplanned process in that you unpack a box and decide where it goes. And it, every case on the wall is a different size and height and width. So it would be very hard to plan anyway because you'd have had to measure the footprint of every specimen before you planned it. So it was almost entirely unplanned. We've always had on display a tray of dodo bones. It's a fairly large collection, so it's a, it's a tray of bones, but it's actually significant. Some things that we were really worried about, we looked after. Affectionately known as Elkie, it's a giant deer skull and antlers, nearly three metres across. So he's very difficult to pack, and we didn't know quite where he was going in the new museum. So. Um, He's caused some problems, but he was the last thing to come in and he's fine now. The museum is mostly arranged taxonomically, so every animal is is displayed with its relatives. But with some of the new cases, the book cases, we've done some other things. So we've got 10 of the cases that we're calling question cases, and each of these cases have an iPad attached to them. And the museums haven't used iPads in this way before, so it's kind of testing technology. And the museum has been taking shape slowly and slowly and slowly since we took over the space in November. So it's only taken us five months to bring everything in. We're mostly unpacked by the end of January. It's very exciting to see it. Obviously, it's an old Victorian collection with nice cutting-edge technology doing new things. <laughs>